Today let's uh, do admission of partner and uh, I'll take up the topic of adjustment of capitals in this. In, uh, in admission of partner, a new partner brings in some capital, right? Now this capital can be in proportion to his share of profit, right? Or the other case is the capital of the other partners will be adjusted to make them proportionate to their respective shares of profit. So here we are going to take up this case where the, uh, the capitals of the existing partners will be adjusted to make them proportionate to their respective shares of profit right so in such questions in basically in adjustment of capital we have two cases right the first case is the one which I am going to take up today is adjustment of the old partner's capital. Old partner's capital accounts on the basis of the incoming partner's capital, right? So, this is what we are going to see now. First of all, before taking up any question on this, you need to understand how to adjust the capitals of the old partners on the basis of the incoming partner's capital. So there are certain steps which you have to understand first and then we will take up a question in which we will try to do this, right? First of all, the first thing that you have to do here is Calculate the new profit sharing ratio of the partners, right? If it is not given in the question, then based on the uh, share of the new partner, we will be calculating it, right? Okay. Then you find out the calculate the total capital of the firm. Now the total capital of the firm is the new partner's capital divided by his share of profit. Right? Then distribute the new capital among all the partners in their new profit sharing ratio right so this is when we do this this will be the new capital of the partners this will be the new capital of the partners right okay then we have to make the capital accounts of the old partners Right. and find out the balance or we can say find out the present capital after making all adjustments right adjustments like uh, goodwill right if there is a general reserve that is to be distributed or profit and loss to be distributed the revaluation profit or loss right so whatever things you put in the capital account if there is something like uh, drawings or interest on capital whatever everything has to be adjusted and then the present capital is found out right now once this present capital is found out now here you have this 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 is the present capital here and you have the new capital here right okay hmm. 
So for, now you have to see whether the present capital is greater than the new capital or less than the new capital, right? So now the next step is find out whether there is a surplus or deficit for the old partners, right? Now, surplus situation will be when the present capital, right, that is as per your capital account, is greater than the new capital, right? And deficit will be when the present capital is less than the new capital, fine? Right? If the present capital is less than the new capital, then the partner will bring in cash. And if the present capital is more than the new capital, then he will be paid cash by the company, right? So, when you come to this point, right, these two cases, there are two journal entries, like suppose in the case of um, in the case, the present capital is less than the new capital, that is the deficit case, right? We make like this, cash account debit, whatever whatever is the deficit, that he has to bring in, right? To partner's capital account, that is that partner's capital account basically, right? Okay. This is cash being brought in by the partner to adjust, uh, to make the adjustments, right? In case of a surplus, it is partner's capital account debit to cash account, right? Cash account or if some partner is uh, paying that money or something like that, in that case it will be to the concerned partner's capital account. Normally, we put it as cash account, right? So this is what is to be done in case of in case of this adjustment, right? So these are the steps basically which you have to uh, do. Now I'll just take up a small uh, a question. We'll just look at these steps only. I'll, I'm not taking up a complete example here, right? Supposing I say A and B are partners, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And let's say um, they are sharing profits in the ratio of 3 is to 2. And C is admitted. Fine. Let's say he brings in uh, 50,000 rupees. 50,000. C is admitted. Has uh, C is admitted. Right. He brings 50,000 as his capital. Right. And let's say his share of profit is uh, one fifth okay hmm. so first of all i'll find out the total capital of the firm right the total capital of the firm is fifty thousand into divided by one by five that is the reciprocal of that so into five by one right so that is two lakh fifty thousand now the second thing is i need to find out the new profit sharing ratio Right. So here I have C's share is how much? 1 by 5. So the remaining share is 4 by 5. 1 minus 4 by 5. 1 minus 1 by 5, sorry, which is equal to 4 by 5. So A's new share will be equal to 4 by 5 into 3 by 5, right? That is equal to 12 by 25, right? B's new share is 4 by 5 into 2 by 5, which is equal to 8 by 25, right? And now C's share will be 1 by 5. So if I make the denominator as 25, this becomes 5 by 25. So here the new ratio is 12 is to 8 is to 5, right? 
12 is to 8 is to 5. Fine. Now, basically, this is this capital that I have here, 250,000. This is the, see, the new ratio is 12 is to 8 is to 5. And the total capital of the firm is 250,000, right? So now you have to find out the new capital of A, B, and C. So that is 250,000 into 12 by 25 for A, right? Okay. For A, 250,000 into 8 by 25 for B and 250,000 into 5 by 25 for C, right? Okay. So this will be their new capitals, fine. So here, after this, we will be making the capital accounts of the partners, right? So here we will not, we are not uh, concerned with the capital account of the new partner basically. Though we will make the capital account for all the partners like this, but uh, first of all, we will be filling the entries for the capital for the uh, existing partners. So whatever entries you have. I'll just take an example like this. Supposing this is the balance, right? By balance brought down, right? And then let's say by revaluation account, this is the revaluation profit, let's say. And then you have by general reserve, the reserve which is uh, transferred. By premium for goodwill, the goodwill brought in by the new partner distributed in the sacrificing ratio. So whatever I have here, and this is uh, what is. Uh, See, this balance that I get here, right, and this one, if I take this 2,50,000 into 12 by 25, right, 2,50,000 into 12 divided by 25 comes to 1,20,000. So, here, you know, this balance, the closing uh, balance that I know, right, because that is the new balance, 2 balance carried down is 1,20,000. Fine. Now, whatever is the total here on this side, you have to see the shorter side, the balancing figure. Suppose here, let's say, uh, this one is, um, let's say this balance is more. We have something like 1,25,000 here, right? Sorry. I'll write it here. This is one lakh twenty five thousand for this partner, let's say A. Now here you will write two cash account, right? That is five thousand. So this is basically partner's capital account, two cash account, right? So, cash has to be given back, right? Now, supposing in this case, if this side had been higher, in that case, I'll put buy cash account here on this side, right? So, this is what is to be done basically in such cases. And after that, normal you have your normal revaluation accounts and uh, the new balance sheet, everything. But the calculation of the capitals, that is to be done like this, right? So, with that, I come to the end of this session. In my next session, I'll take up a complete example on this uh, adjustment of capital.